so hello everyone in this class i will explain how to convert the one mode h parameter to another one mode h parameter uh, for example uh, you have uh, your that h parameter for common emitter mode so how to convert the common emitter mode h parameter to common collector mode or to common base mode okay so let us see there is a uniform uh, a common process common framework so by using that you can easily convert one h parameter to another one h parameter so let me tell why this conversion is required actually the bjt manufacturer they provide the h parameter only for common emitter configuration okay not for any other mode so only the value of h parameter that is hie hre hfe and hoe is mentioned by the manufacturer and if you are working with a different mode of bjt such as the bjt is configured in common character mode or common base mode suppose you are going to design a emitter forward circuit that is basically common collector amplifier so then you need the value of common character mode h parameter but we don't have that uh, common character or common base mode h parameter because uh, the manufacturer will provide you the common emitter mode h parameter so that's why we need some conversion so this conversion technique you can apply for any other mode from any or any one mode to another one mode so if you follow the common framework so let us see so here uh, let we are going to represent uh, that uh, common collector mode h parameter to common emitter mode h parameter that means uh, we have we, we know the values of common emitter mode h parameter as uh, i mentioned just now and we need to convert the common emitter mode h parameter to common collector mode h parameter that means we are going to find out the values of uh, that h i h i c h r c h f c and h o c okay they are unknown we need to find those values using common emitter mode h parameter that is h i e h r e and h f e and h o e so the first thing you have to do uh, draw that uh, a brief uh, a small diagram of uh, each mode that means uh, so here in this case we are working with the common collector and common emitter mode so let's draw that so this one is for common collector mode see the collector is common base is the input emitter is the output so we have input voltage is vbc and input current is base current similarly at the output side the output voltage is vec and output current is the emitter current Similarly, for common emitter mode, the emitter is common, base is the input, and collector is the output. So VBE and IB, they, uh, those are the input side parameters, and VCE and IC, they are output side parameters. Then we can write the, the corresponding H parameter equation, the general equation you can uh, see here, which we derive uh, from the two-fold network. So V1 equal to HII1 plus HRV2. So for common collector mode, it will be V1 is nothing but VBC, so VBC will be equal to HI. Now here we are working with common collector, so it will be HIC into I1 because V1 equal to HI I1. So I1 is IB base current for common collector mode. Okay, plus HRC into VEC because V2 that is VEC here. Similarly I2 that is IE emitter current that is equal to HFC IB plus HOC into VEC. So we can give some equation number one and two. So those H parameter equations, equation one and two, they are for common collector mode. Similarly, we can write the H parameter equation for common emitter mode, equation three and four, following this uh, main equation, that is V1 equal to HII1 plus HRV2 and I2 equal to HFI1 plus HOV2. So the equation we are getting for common emitter mode, exactly same as common collector only the V1, V2, I1, I2 value will be different, okay. Now, since we are going to find out what is the value of common collector mode H parameters, so we are taking the equation one and equation two as a standard equation. Then our job is to modify equation three and equation four, okay. In the same way, suppose here, if I compare equation one and equation three, so here we have VBC in equation one, the first term is VBC, okay. But um, see here, it is, it's VBC. But here we have VBE. So we have to replace VBE by VBC. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can check here we have IB. So here also we have IB in equation three. 
So here we have VEC, but here we have VCE. So we have to replace VCE by VEC. So after modifying equation three, so we might get this type of equation. Like for example, this is equation five, and the equation five should look like this one. VBC will be equal to some constant into IB, some plus some constant into VEC. Uh, similarly, we can modify equation four, and the equation should look like this one, equation six. I equal to some constant into IB plus some constant into VEC. Then we can compare 5, 6 with equation 1 and 2. So then we can say this value F1 is nothing but HIC. Okay, so if we compare equation 1 and equation 5, so F1 value is nothing but HIC. Similarly, F2 value is nothing but this HRC. And this one is your F3 and this one is your F4. Okay, so this is the process actually. So how to modify equation 3 and equation 4? Let us see. Now, if you look at any BJT, so the relation between the different terminal voltage, so the collector to emitter voltage, that is this one, VCE, okay, so that is equal to voltage between collector to base, VCB, plus the voltage between base to emitter, VBE. So VCE equal to VCB plus VBE. This is the first one. Uh, and this equation we have to use to modify equation three and equation four. And similarly, uh, since we are considering that BJT as a two-port network, and in two-port network, you can observe all current directions are incoming current in one direction, whether it is a emitter current, base current, or collector current. So applying KCL, so we can write IC plus IB plus I equals to zero. So we are getting another one equation. So by using the, those two equations, we can easily replace the value of VBE and whatever the uh, replacement required, we can do that. For example, from equation three, we have VBE. So VBE, we can write here, VCE minus of VCB. Okay, so we can write VCE minus of VCB and VCE that is nothing but minus of VEC. Okay, so why I have written minus VEC because we need VEC here. Okay, so you can check here I need VEC. We do not want VCE. So VCE equal to minus of VEC, okay. So in this way, we can replace that and uh, check here VBC, VCB minus of VCB equal to plus of VBC. And then I'm just rearranging the equation. I got equation five, which is exactly in the same form of this. See here, I already mentioned equation five. Okay. So then if I compare equation five with our standard equation, equation one, then check the, the both are same exactly, except the coefficient. So here we have VBC, here we have VBC. This one is HIC IB. So here we have HIE IB. So we can write HIC equal to HIE comparing equation one and equation five. Similarly, the second term HRC VEC, but here we have one minus HRE to VEC. So HRC equal to one minus HRE. Now, since the value of HRE is very small, typically as in the order of 10 to the power minus four, so 2.5 into 10 to the power minus four in that range. So we can write one minus this one equals to one. Okay, so HRC equals to one. We can do the same thing with this. Okay, so IC equal to HFE IB plus HOE VCE. Okay, so what I want, just check equation two. Here we have IE, we do not have IC. Here we have IE, so we have to bring IE here. So what we can do, so minus of, IE plus IB because IC equal to minus of IE plus IB from this we can calculate equals to HFE IB plus HOE VC that means minus of HOE VEC. We can write that and <clears throat> we can write here minus of IE equals to HAFE IB, so this minus IB will come here, plus IB minus of HOE VEC. So we can take minus common, so IE value we are getting, <coughs> IB into one plus HAFE, and since we are taking minus common here, so minus will come here, plus HOE, VEC. <clears throat> so now we can compare this equation with the equation two. Let's check. IE equal to HFC IB. 
So here we have I equal to minus of one plus HFE IB. So we can write HFC equal to minus of one plus HFE. And second term HOEVEC. Here also we have HOEVEC, HOCVEC. So HOC that is equal to HOE. So writing all four H parameter, HIC that is equal to HIE, HRC that is equal to one minus HRE, that is equal to one, HFC equals to minus of one plus HFE and HOC equal to one. So in this way, we can convert common uh, emitter mode H parameter to common collector mode H parameter, and you can follow the same process to convert or to represent common base mode H parameter to common emitter mode and vice versa but the equation will be complex. Okay. So here we are um, uh, getting uh, two H parameter values after modifying one equation, but when you are working with a common base, so you have to modify two equations simultaneously at the same time to get the values of each parameter, but the process is exactly the same. Okay. So to be up to this, thank you.